the wolf and the seven little goats. Once upon a time, a wolf wandered. He was hungry all the time. He ate a lot, but he could never get enough to satisfy his stomach. I am hungry again. So, day and night, he would wander the forest, chasing prey. One day, the hungry wolf discovered a small hut. He sneaked up carefully and quietly. And when he got close, he looked out of the trees, saw that a mother goat and her seven babies lived in the hut. Oh, now there's a meal that'll last a whole week. <laughs> the crafty wolf laid in wait and spied the hut until the morning. In the morning, the mother goat was about to kiss her seven babies and leave the house. My children, I'm going to the market now to buy some food. Be careful and do not open the door to anyone. All right, All right mommy. mommy. <laughs> the mother goat left the house to go to the market. At that time, the wolf, sneakily watching the hut, called it an opportunity and jumped out. But he needed a genius idea to fool little goats. Hmm, the best tactic for catching these goats is a disguise. The wolf first put on an old dress. He pulled his ears down and made two goat horns from the branches and put them on his head. Then, with his feet covered in flour, he stole a fresh and warm apple pie from the house of someone he doesn't know. And I'll just change my voice, too, like that. I'm such a good grandmother. <laughs> the wolf walked slowly to the front of the hut and knocked on the door. Little goats, hearing the sound, immediately rushed to the door. One of them was going to open the door with excitement. But another little goat warned him. Wait! You shouldn't just open a door like that. You have to ask, who is it? Who is it? It's me, my babies, your grandmother. I came to take you to the park. Huh. Our grandmother lives very far away. You can't be her. Oh, it's been such a long trip. Come on, dears, open the door, let's go to the park. When the wolf said that, the little goats looked under the door and looked at the wolf's feet. Look, her feet are just like ours. Yes, but her nails are too long, like a wolf. When the little goats did not open the door again, the wolf made them smell the apple pie he brought them. Look, I brought your favorite apple pie, dear grandchildren. And wolves don't know how to bake pies. The goats smelled the apple pie and got excited and opened the door. None of them understood that he was a wolf in disguise. Come, Come on, on Grandma. Grandma. Let's go to the park. We'll eat, we'll eat our, our apple, apple pie, pie when, we, when return. we return. The little goats and wolf left the hut. Mmm, I'm so hungry. I can hardly contain myself. While the goats were walking happily, the wolf's dress caught on the branch of a tree. The dress slipped off the wolf slowly, and the little goats were stunned by surprise when they saw the wolf's horrible fur. When the wolf realized he was spotted, his ears flipped up, his sharp teeth showed, and he jumped on the goats. He found and caught them all one by one. 
Only one of them survived, and he ran away from the wolf. The wolf kidnapped six little goats and took them to his dark nest. To inform his mother, the little goat that survived ran so fast that he lost his breath. Meanwhile, the mother goat returned home from the market with a basket of fruit and vegetables. The door of the house was wide open. She hurried inside, but couldn't see her tiny babies around. My babies, where are you? Ah, my little goats. Ah. The mother goat was so worried that she immediately ran out of the house to start looking for her little kids. Meanwhile, she noticed the large footprints on the ground. Oh no, these tracks are the footprints of a wolf. She followed them for a while, but then the ground changed and the prince disappeared. What am I going to do now? Oh, 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 oh. a wolf has kidnapped my children. Oh, oh, oh. While the mother goat cried, the little goat that had escaped came running to her. Mom, mommy, my baby, where are your brothers? What happened? Tell me quickly. A hungry wolf disguised himself as our goat grandmother and tried to kidnap us, mother. Only I survived, but I know where they are. The mother goat and her little baby ran to the wolf's lair. When they arrived, they heard the voices of the little goats. <coughs> this is the wolf's lair. We have to be very careful now, baby. The mother goat and her kid came up with a clever plan to save the other little goats. They both stood in front of the wolf's house and made a huge bear shadow with their hands inward. Inside, the wolf was just about to eat the little goats, but saw the scary bear-shaped shadow. <gasps> what is this? Is it a bear or...? I am a giant bear with a very hungry stomach. There must be a wolf around here that will fill my stomach. <laughs> oh, no. The wolf was so afraid that the bear would eat him that he immediately started to run out of his lair. No, help me, bear, 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 the bear will eat me. Seeing the wolf running away, the little goats came out with joy and hugged their mother tightly. Ma, ma, the wolf ran away! The wolf ran away! And from then on, the mother goat and her seven children lived a peaceful life away from the wolf in their hut in the forest. <laughs>